In this problem, we're told the electric motor of a model train accelerates the train from rest to 0.62 meters per second in 21 milliseconds. The total mass of the train is 875 grams. Find the average power delivered to the train during its acceleration. So this right here is what's going on, right? So we have this train, it's going to be at 0 meters per second, and then 21 milliseconds later, it's traveling at 0.62 meters per second. And we also know the mass of the train, right, is 875 grams. So how are we going to solve this problem? So the first thing to do is recognize what we're trying to find. We're trying to find average power. So you can call it P average, right? So we're solving for P average, and the, the formula we're going to use is P average is equal to the change in the kinetic energy, right, over the change in time. So the reason this works, right, is so you might have done one of the problems before, which worked with the change in the potential energy. Now we're doing the change in the kinetic energy. So surfaces where you, they like, let's say in this case, right, notice their height does not change. You use change in kinetic energy versus ones where they go straight up, use the change in potential energy, right? And we can prove this, right? Because we know the energy in the beginning, right? Energy initial equals energy final, okay? The energy in the beginning is going to be the kinetic energy, one half mv squared plus mgh, right, is equal to one half mv final squared plus mgh final. But notice this, the h initial and h final are the same, and they're both zero, right? Because it both starts on the bottom. So these are both going to be crossed out. So we know it's just going to be the change in the kinetic energy, right? Because it's just the change in the energy, but in this case, it's just going to be the change in the kinetic energy. So if we know that, right, the change in time over the change in kinetic energy. So kinetic energy, as we just went over, is one half mv squared, right? So if we want the change in it, the only thing that's changing is uh, v, right? It's just one half mv final squared minus one half mv initial squared, right? And we can factor, right, one half m, and then it's just going to be v final minus v initial squared, right? So uh, just keep that in mind. And so let's just go ahead and use this, right? So change of kinetic energy, one half m, and it's really just going to be v final, right? It's just one half m times v final squared. And the reason that is is because notice v initial is zero. So something minus zero is just itself. So it's just v final squared, right? So this is the formula we're going to use. So one half multiplied by m, which is 875 grams, which is 0.875 kilograms, because there's a thousand uh, there's a thousand grams for every kilogram. So you just because there's a thousand grams for every one kg, so the grams cancel and you just have kg. So you just divide it by a thousand, and that becomes 0.875, right? Then multiply by the final velocity, which is 0.62 meters per second. Uh, squared, right? And then go ahead and divide by the change in time. So how long does it take? It takes 21 milliseconds. So 21 ms. We know that there's 1,000 milliseconds uh, for every one second. So these will cancel. So it's just 21 divided by 1,000 right here, essentially, right? So yeah, go ahead and do this, right? So do one half multiply it by 0.875 times 0.62, and then divide by 2100, or 21 divided by 100, or 1000, sorry. And if you do this, you'll get 8.008333 and so on. I'm just going to round to this place right here. So just say 8.0, and then this rounds it to a 1. And so keep in mind, we're finding power, so we measure power in watts. So 8.01 watts, that's going to go ahead and be uh, the average power of the motor, right? So this right here is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.